I have yet to see this clip, and I know I'm super late to the party on this, uh, but just the synopsis here from Bad Stats really has me intrigued. So Andy now asks Jordan Peterson how psychology can explain why Antifa is so evil and bad. Jordan Peterson says it's revenge against God for the crime of being. Then he starts crying. I'm genuinely confused by this. Uh, I don't even know how to process this paragraph here. Uh, but there's, <laughs> there's a lot going on. This is only a one minute and 10 second clip, but I feel like this is going to be a bit of a beast to unpack. So without further ado, I will let them talk. And yeah, and, and for those of you who are unaware of who Andy No is, Andy No is a fascist journalist. He's a fascist propagandist, to be a little bit more specific. So he doesn't like Antifa because he is very explicitly pro-fa. So I love how he's going to try to get Jordan Peterson to explain what's going on in someone's head when, uh, you know, they're against fascism. Um, I don't know, Andy, they're normal. I, I would assume that most good people are against fascism, if that's even like the context of the way that they discuss this, but based on, you know, the wording here. Anyways, I'll shut up and, and we'll watch it. I'm just, I'm really excited about this. I wanted to ask you about the, based on your 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 knowledge, your background, your clinical experience, What what is the psychology of this mob violence? When I see it, 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 uh, like I, I don't even recognize some of these. It seem they seem animalistic, is what I mean. Um, in no, they're the worse animal than August. animals. They're worse than animals because animals they just kill to eat. You know, human beings they have a twist in them that makes them far worse than animals when they really get going. Well, I think it's. I think you really want to know what I think. I think it's revenge yes. against God for the crime of being. What does that even mean? Okay, so we're talking about the mob mentality when it comes to political groups. In this instance, Antifa, because Antino has made it his mission to condemn people who don't like fascism. Um, in other words, people who are normal. And Jordan Peterson's response is, it's a crime against God for being... I don't even know where to begin to break that down. To get going. Well, I think it's... I think... You really want to know what I think? I think it's... Yeah, it's like he's like, you really want to know what I think? I'm going to have a really hot take right now, so here we go. And then he drops some incoherent ass shit that I don't know what the fuck means. Against God for the crime of being. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. What the hell are we going to do without men? <laughs> this, this motherfucker is so stupid. How do people take him seriously? I genuinely don't understand why this person is popular. I get the whole self-help thing, but I feel like he needs help himself, right? I can, I can help him. Uh, I, I'll give you some advice. I've got 12 steps. Clean your room. That's number one. That's number one. Um, stop being so overly emotional. Chill out. Smoke some pot. Um, don't do the whole all meat diet thing because that's not good. And you're going to take some massive shits that are going to literally tear your asshole apart if you do that. Uh, stop surrounding yourself with reactionaries. Uh, I don't know. Just fucking play video games and chill, dude. That's really what I think. Wow, it's so Cain profound. And Cain, Cain and Abel. It's like, oh, Abel's your Abel's your guy, eh, God? How about if I take him out in the field and beat him to death? <laughs> He's so stupid. Yeah, God. Well, God, you how do you like that, God? If I beat the shit out of Cain, God? Nope. I'm an Abel person, God. I genuinely am confused. I remember the story of Cain and Abel when I was indoctrinated into um, Christianity when I was young, but I don't remember the specifics. I know that one of them killed the other one. Um, I actually don't even remember more than that, but one of them killed the other. But, you know, you can be like, Yo, Cain. Fuck you, Cain. How about that, God? How do you like that? I just, I feel like all of this is extremely incoherent, and I'm trying to be a little bit more deeper uh, go below the surface here and try to extract some value of, out of what he's saying. But I genuinely think he's just talking out of his ass right now. And there's there's no actual uh, thesis. Like, what's the point? What's, what's the main takeaway from this? At this point, I don't know. We'll watch it again, right? Because I keep pausing it and fucking it up. But we'll watch it again. But I just... So, uh, Cain killed Abel after Abel was said to be the better brother. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the refresher. It's been a while since I've read the story of Cain and Abel. 
Uh, but okay. How do you feel about that? How do you feel All about that? All my sacrifices God? went unrewarded. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is at the bottom of the hell of things. Why are you? Why did that make you cry, my dude? That didn't make sense. Why are you crying? The way he transitioned to to crying and like you could see he was trying to fight back tears. Holy shit! I we have okay. We'll watch the whole thing again, right? Because I keep pausing it. But <laughs> watch that part again. Abel, it's like oh, Abel's your Abel's your guy, eh? God, how about if I take him out in the field and beat him to death? How do you feel about that? All God my sacrifices so went unrewarded yeah it's like yeah that's what it is at the bottom of the hell of things <laughs> why are you crying why are you crying what the fuck why is it <laughs> i don't know why but i feel like it's kind of mean that i find that funny but it's just so weird like he's he's going on this incoherent point but for whatever reason in his mind he's thinking i'm fucking crushing it and this point is so profound i am literally moved to tears <laughs> so i'm gonna make myself cry because of this point well you know when i think about god and cain and abel what the hell are we gonna do without men <laughs> we should we should watch that by the way is what the hell are we going to do with that, man? Let me pull that up. I'm going to... Okay, listen, I promise you, we're going to watch it one more time. I'm not going to pause it once, okay? I will chop off my fingers if I press that pause button. Uh, but as I'm finding that, I will cue up the clip where he infamously says... What the hell are we going to do without men? Because I think that's honestly a banger as well. That's like his greatest hit. Um, but, oh my God, the laughter is killing me. I wanted to ask you about the... Based on your... your your knowledge, your background, your clinical experience, what, what is the psychology of this mob violence? When I see it, 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 it uh, like I, I don't even recognize some of these, it seem, they seem animalistic is what I mean. Um, in, no, they're the worse August, than animals. They're worse than animals. They're worse than animals because animals, they just kill to eat, you know? Human beings, they have a twist in them that makes them far worse than animals when they really get going. Well, I think it's, I think, you really want to know what I think? I think it's revenge yes. against God for the crime of being. <laughs> like, That's what really what I think. It's Cain and Cain, Cain and Abel. It's like, oh, Abel's your, Abel's your guy, eh, God? How about if I take him out in the field and beat him to death? <laughs> how do you feel about that? All my sacrifices went unrewarded. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, that's what it is at the bottom of the hell of things. <laughs> Does that make me a bad person that I find it funny that he's crying? I'm sorry. You can call me an asshole. It is objectively funny that he's crying at that because what he's saying doesn't make sense. Um, and speaking of him crying, so I don't know what the context was for this, but he talks about um, toxic masculinity and he starts breaking down into tears. Uh for some reason um but his crying here is fucking insane i don't get why he cries so much like i feel like i'm i'm a good enough person to where i should in theory feel bad at anyone crying but when he cries it makes me laugh because it's so absurd he cries over the weirdest things we've met some of your fans and uh, we got the impression they were all male fans, that, the ones that we talked to, um, and that they were struggling with their manhood and that you uh, give them this message that it's okay to be a man. It's not okay. It's necessary. He's all right. Like, just from the jump, he's about to burst out into tears. Holy shit. What the hell are we going to do without men? You look around the city here, you see all these buildings go up. These men, they're doing impossible things. They're under the streets, working on the sewers. They're up. What are we going to do with that man? Who's going to fix the sewers? Who's going to unclog the toilet from me when I take a massive shit after eating all of this meat in my diet? What the hell are we going to do with that man? Who are we going to suck off? <laughs> I just, I, why are you crying? Why are you crying? That's so weird. 
I don't understand why you're crying at this already. Holy shit. Power lines in the storms and the in the rain. They're when I see them working with their bulging biceps and their hot uniforms with the cutoffs and their booty shorts. <laughs> like, I just I genuinely I want to interview him. I have to know what's going on in his fucking mind. This impossible infrastructure functioning. This thing that works in a miraculous manner. They work themselves to death. And often literally. And, and the, the, um, the gratitude for that is sorely lacking. Especially among the people who should be most grateful. You who? see university professors, especially of the social justice bent, <coughs> who are among the most protected and privileged people that the world has ever produced. What? They take everything they have for granted, failing to understand entirely that there's a massive infrastructure of unbelievably hardworking, solidly laboring, working class men breaking themselves in half on a regular basis, making sure that everything that always breaks works. And so... A little gratitude for that is in order. And okay. it's very useful to tell everyone, not just men, that they have. I just have to point out that he's trying so hard to keep it together. And really, the second this camera cuts like that, the tears are streaming down his face. I just don't know that I've ever seen an adult who um, talks about like masculinity and stuff cry this much and i feel like it's almost toxic masculinity for me to make fun of him for crying but i'm sorry um i, I don't care uh this dude is why I, I just i don't get the tears what's with the waterworks and i think that he's not faking it i don't think that he's being insincere i think he's actually thinking that in his brain he's saying something so profound that it's moving him to tears I just don't think that it's warranted, right? Men crying is perfectly normal. We're human beings. We all cry. We eat shit and, shit and sleep. Nothing to be ashamed about. But like, I don't know why you're crying here. It seems like not the appropriate situation to cry in. I, I just, I'm so confused by Jordan Peterson. An important role to play, a necessary role, and that if they act properly and honestly and forthrightly, that they can put their lives together and they can help their families and they can make their communities better and that that's not toxic masculinity that appalling phrase it's what keeps the world going round and if we had any sense we'd understand that instead of doing everything at every possible moment to label what we have in the west as oppressive and patriarchal and 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 fundamentally predicated on power. Why? Uh, I'm sorry. The, I don't think I've ever realized there's an ambulance in the background. It just adds to the ambiance. It just makes it so much better. Insane propositions. Holy shit. What a psycho, dude. It's like... Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. 